Hello guys, si Kaya San Velasa ulit ito at welcome sa episode 3 ng laro tayo ng Disco Elysium. So game, continue natin yung adventure natin kasama yung pasaway na character natin na detective na ano, <laughs> na ano, may amat. So go, continue. Kailangan ng autosave, delete, autosave. So, andito tayo. Ina, inahanap pa rin natin kung paano, inahanap natin para kung paano natin ibababa itong pasaway na tag dito, yung bangkay. Kaya lang, alam, hindi natin makakausap na maayos itong isang to, eh, pasaway. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags. Kailangan natin yun, ah. Kailangan natin yung ano susi hindi yes. natin. Tell me what the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. Um, I want to talk about you. You seem to be following me. Nothing. So bakit natin kung natin yung susi do sa ano sa bartender? Ano, teka, bago yun. May hanapin muna ako. Kailangan natin ng mapa ng lugar na to. So, teka lang. May puta natin yung... May nagbebenta ng map eh. So, teka, hanapin ko lang. There are bottles inside. You can pick them up if you had the bag. Banda dito somewhere yun eh. This is a book about pate. This book, you don't, you don't really understand what it is about, nor does it seem important. It, it, it takes real power to even read this author's name. Jean Carl something. A book about Boadero culture. It promotes freedom and roaming upstream. A book about the future. The government reads The government reads your minds using radio technology. <laughs> yung, teka, pintang ko yung, meron ditong ano yung nagtitinta ng map. Ay, teka lang. Hindi natin lahat ng pwedeng ano, interactables. On the cover stands a very ma muscular man surrounded by flames. <laughs> This book has a rose, a pistol and a half-naked dame on its cover. Hmm. The book appears to be erotica, but without actual erotica. <laughs> This kind of operated viewer has been banged up. Inoperable. Don't get mayonnaise on the on the meshing tape. Sorry. Punta ko lang yung ano, pinang nagtitinta ng banda do sa taas yun eh. The artist's broken window. Tibbs has windows. <laughs> If you had a bag in your hand, perhaps you could collect these bottles and and sell them. Akilan natin ang bag. Karami na natin ka. Dap pa kasing interactable siya. Kaya ako lang tignan. To round about north. To Cape Side Apartments, Martine Pier. Kailan tayo punta ng yung vendor? Sa mga banda yon. Eh, yun yata. Dito yata. Eh, ito yata. Ito yata. Dito nga yata. Ito dito sa taas. Ito 
gift books and molten candy. <laughs> The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, sword-wielding barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain the word Hyamdal somewhere. Starkeep, tell me about the muscle, muscle man books. Look through the display of books. Mm. Sige, ito mo na. Actually, hindi naman tayo dito. Eh. Sa taas tayo. Eh. So, tinignan ko lang. <laughs> so, kaya tayo. Okay. Ito yung vendor yata. Storekeeper. Welcome to Crime, Romance and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. The clerk extends a greeting. Be welcome and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. Before we go on, you seem to be well off enough. Before before we go on, you seem to be well enough well, well off enough. Can you give me some money? I feel there won't be an oppor opportune moment to ask later. <laughs> so, are you the owner of this store? No thanks, Steve. I am! The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Her voice is high-pitched, as if to give it more penetration. What if I want to buy a book? Who's the little girl standing outside? Farewell for now, book peddler. <laughs> Uh, meron mo tayo nakita? Wala ko napansin, pero sige, tanong natin. Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? No, yes, of course. No, she was definitely slacking off. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't tell me. Now, tell me something else. Hindi uh, naman natin nakausap eh. Uh, Tano na lang, sige. Yes, of course. Wonderful. Did you talk to her? Uh, no, hindi, na, hindi ko nga siya nakita eh. No, not really. Why not? Was she not friendly enough? Were you not compelled to talk to her? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just walked right in here instead. I'm not interested in talking to a kid. I was afraid she'd call me a... Uh, <laughs> F... Uh, fuck shit siguro. Like all the kids around here. I don't know. I just walked in right here. Oh, now. yes. Okay. That makes sense. It's working then. Yes. Do browse our book, sir. The way you're handling her strikes me as strong. And it is quite the trooper. She's a great value add. I'm here to dismantle the free market and abolish child labor. Okay, let's change the subject. The woman before you scans the store, her shoulders rigid and tense. Every now and then, she nudges her glasses. What if I want to buy a book? Goodness, you were already doing good browsing the shelves. Why do you stop? Don't you feel compelled? Go, go, get back there. The books await you. <laughs> so what type of books do you have? All right, I'll take a, I'll take a look then. Conclude, okay. Everything is on the shelves. Take a look yourself. The shelves compel you, don't they? <laughs> She's attempting to mentally direct you towards the shelves. She only wants you to buy the goods. She doesn't care about the books. Mm -hmm. Do you even know what books you have for sale? Uh, wala siyang pake. So, alright. I'll, look, I'll, look, I'll take a look then. She smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. Farewell for now, book peddler. Hindi uh, <laughs> ba ano yun? Kaya tayo. Nasa taas yung kailangan nating map eh. Ito. Somewhere dito. Teka, save ko lang. Mamaya, ano eh. Mamaya meron ditong field, ano eh. May, ano na naman. Mamaya, tag doon. Mamaya may perception check or something. Hindi natin makuha eh. So, teka. Another boring book, just discarded here. It's ganon. This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, na muna. Hindi man natin kailangan, kailangan natin map. It's a tome of fascist magic, rather candid. A quaint picture book brochure, very colorful. Baka dito. The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of Famous People. You see a large variety of names, none of which ring a bell. Starkeep, anything of note in the shelf? Look through the display of books. Browsing through all the books with all their names makes your head spin. None of these seem important or relevant. It's all just vapid egoism. <laughs> Suddenly, a particularly odd title catches your eye. It reads, High Speed Love, the tragic true love story of Jacob Irv and Alfie Delatraz by one Cecilia Averbrook. What's it about? High Speed Love chronicles the romance between two of the finest tip-top tournay racers in history. One of them is the madcap driver, Jacob Irv. His blonde mane graces the cover. Next to Irv's life story, you see a slim biography of an Occidental rock star called The Anti-Star. He's famous for shooting morphine into one of his eyeballs and cocaine into the other. Ano ba yun? <laughs> Anong klaseng uh, mats yun? Tinti naman. Next to that, River Sholian radio personality Guillaume Bevy stands in front of a rundown drug den. He's a permanent fixture on Channel 8. Reporting on real life crime and ruining cops' days. I really must insist you buy one of the books. Reading them is not for free. Do still browse though, but not too long. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not mean to rush you. You are browsing. Go ahead, take your time. Time is commerce. Uh, Dine out then. Anything of note in this chat? I would say. The Greatest Innocence, yes, most certainly. It's an important educational tool delving into the depths of history, religion, and their relation to innocentic power. <laughs> Who or what is innocence? A very influential historical figure. But surely I don't have to tell you that. You're a law officer, and law officers have at least some education. <laughs> the book is also very daring. The author aims to re-examine the universal understandings of the innocentic system, creating a fresh vantage point and a shift in the tired order of things. I thought it was about which of these innocences is the coolest and greatest. So you recommend it? Wait, I don't need to know anything more. So you recommend it? Uh, hmm. Inahanap ko yung map. But dito daw nabibili yun eh. Pero nasaan? Perhaps for a layman? Deep analysis is necessary to peel back the multi-layered meanings. Do her words seem vague and abstract to you? <laughs> Do you recommend it? Certainly. It's prudent for a person to have at least an elementary understanding of history and society. Imagine the chaos we'd be in otherwise. You feel like you should get this one. Definitely. It's important somehow. There's something personal inside. Greatest Innocence Knock. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, wag naman na wala. Asan yung map dito? Ah, ito siguro. Ito, may, may isa pa eh. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen over and over. Uh, Crime fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work glossing over how long it takes to actually follow up on leads and eliminate dead ends. Furthermore, they have no idea how hard it is to simply remove a body from a tree. <laughs> What's more, 
they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Not a single mention of all the stress this work creates upon the officer's family. Detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all. Now, would you like a list of all the books found on the shelf? Sige, bak nanap ko yung map kung nasan eh. You see, Dick Mullen on the job. Get me Mullen. The stalwart adventures of Richard P. Mullen. Dick Mullen and the murder in the orchard. The sordid affair of Dick Mullen. Ben. <laughs> A killing is declared. Dick Mullen in the murder house. The final case of Dick Mullen. An obvious lie. Dick Mullen in the clock tower. The ordeals of Dick Mullen. Dauntless Dick. <laughs> Dick Mullen's funeral pyre. The murder of Dick Mullen. Dick Mullen dies? Oh no. Turns out he fainted to solve a case. <laughs> Are there any more? Yes. There's also the dame who did it. Farewell, my Mullen. Faking death seems to be a common trope in the Mullen series. The morbid tales of Dick Mullen. A dark tide turns. Tragedy calls for Dick Mullen. Another one with fake death. And, of course, Dick Mullen, the murderer. In order to catch a murderer, Dick Mullen must become the murderer. <laughs> After all this, you still haven't found the answer to the one question that matters. Who is Dick Mullen? It's all this crime fiction. Reaction speed. This is a white check. You may try it. Uh, taka, save. Come on, na. Save. Baka dito na yon. Dapat nakita dapat nakita na natin yung map eh. Ah, ayun, ayun pala ito pala sa taas pala. Sa so, try mo natin to. Fill to the brim with crime novels featuring the supposedly stalwart Vespertine detective Dick Mullen. Even your quick eye notices a small caterpillar crawling across the spine of a book. The title reads Dick Mullen and the Mistaken Identity. Hmm. What we have here? Mistaken identity? A worn paperback from Dick Mullen's classic hard-boiled phase. The premise seems to be that Dick Mullen is framed for the murder of his best friend and has just a few days to prove his innocence. Hmm. Why does this speak to me? Could it be the motifs of unstable identities and shocking betrayals? Oh, Medjo. <laughs> That's probably right. I'm a complicated guy full of contradictions. No, it's got to be something else. Okay, go. Then this is the book for you. Uh, wala tayong pambili, pero wag naman na. Leave. Ito yung map. Nakita ko na. Sa taas pala ito. Kailangan ko i-save. Teka lang, ha? Save natin. Ingat kung pwedeng makuha ng brute force. Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, and a map of Martinez. Uh... Starkeep, can I buy these maps? Wala tayong pambili. Look at the map of Martinez. It's not really a map. It's a tourist thing. A picture postcard with buildings on it. Drawn from an isometric perspective. A date in the upper right corner says 48. Updated. Ano na? Outdated na? Still, it's detailed. Could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor. Even the whirling in rags there. Oh, nice. Okay na. Look at the map of Revishaw. The north coast of a verdant island is shattered by the delta of a river. It is the River Esperance. Countless bridges put the shards back together. 
connecting city blocks to river islands. La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of Saint Baptiste, swallowed up into the megacity. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershall East. And west of the river? Hudon. It's somewhere to live. Not bad. Then there's Jamrock. It's bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Forberg. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. And Martine? It's so small you can't even see it on the map. No, wait. There it is. North of Jamrock. The strip of coast next to the Greater Rivershall Industrial Harbour. It looks downright despondent. It's almost Coal City, to be honest. No, this is somewhere to be. This is all you have. But it's still something. Streets and sodium lights, the sky, the world. You're still alive. <laughs> Look at the map of insulin. insulin. This large map displays archipelagos. You see a constellation of small dots on the light blue emptiness of the Insulindic Ocean. The largest in the northeast is La Caillou. You are here. Another far away in the southwest, Seminese Islands, Ile de Fantom. What else? Ozon, Laurentide, Fas Alamir, Archipelagos, North Arcade Islands. All just specks of dust on the vastness of the Insulindic. On the edges of the map, the color fades into a blur of dotted lines, black and white. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Caillou <laughs> in mite. a bookstore. It's you. <laughs> squint, squint first. Can you see cities on the islands? You can. On Caillou, Rivershaw, a single black star. On Ozon. Fondelier and Vimandu on Archipelagos, Croyan Moran, Villiers on Seminine, Oldivai, and on Laurentide, Deora of the Seven Seas. Lost little pearls of light, tiny fires in the dark. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness, windy. Is the north azimuth grad is the northeast azimuth samara is the east azimuth seo is the west azimuth isolas they're called connections to other worlds words past the insulindian unknown to you you only know you've never been there you have little idea what they are distant stars gods but looking at them makes you feel almost non-existent. Whatever they are, the Isolas are immeasurably large compared to you and very, very far away. <laughs> Perhaps they are gods, gods of distance and outer dust. Uh, save Kumuna. Uh, can I buy these, uh, this map? Like, uh, save Naten. Una time pere. Eh. Yeah. Ito na yata yung kaila ano. Try na. Kailan natin ng map kasi kahit na hindi outdated siya. Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda, a map of Revachol, and a map of Martinez. Starkeep, can I buy these maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. 90 cents? Why is the one of Martinez so cheap? You seem to under underestimate my resources, but sure, okay. Can't bring funds natin. Saan ba makikita yung gold natin? Ang 
Hindi ko na ako sa makikita eh. Ay, ito, 190. Pala yung 190. Meron tayong pambili. Okay, guys. Why is the one of Martinez so cheap? That old thing? It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. What happened to them? They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. <laughs> Ang taas. Uh, 17. Wag na lang. May pambili naman tayo eh. So, bilhin natin. Map of Martinez. Always good to be informed of your surroundings. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Map. A worn and torn map of the Martin no, Martinet area, dating from for, 48, Malamang 1948. Title on the a title on the top reads BNV. Bien venue a river show. Bien venue a river show. It is a bit out of date as it, as it was originally created by a design studio in a failed attempt to spruce up Martinet and turn it into a fancy tourist location. The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Trace a path through the grid. Your finger moves through the various streets, across Rue de saint Islaine and Rue saint Sipa, over saint Brun and Martinez North. Finally, coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. For a more detailed view of the map, go to your journal and select the map tab. Journal. Okay, map tab. Martinez waterfront. Here, formidable. Here, sleeping dock worker, the hangman, legendary. Kunu. Is meron tayong nabili rito. Kausapin nga natin yung anak niya. Nasa labas daw eh. Hindi <laughs> ko naman napansin kagad. Asan? Ah, ito. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. <laughs> Hello, I'm Belo. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? She stamps her feet to feel warm. Uh, she stamps her feet. She stamps her feet to feel warmer. What kind of a story is this anyway? Is it okay if I ask you some questions? Not really. Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. What is your name? Okay, bye. See you around, Annette. Alam natin pangalan dahil sa loob. Okay, what's your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside, minding the register, or organizing the stock. The girl gazes at the window, 
Then suddenly jolts her eyes wide as if recalling something. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. And you're standing out here in the cold because... Okay, I, got, I guess I will. See ya. I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. She covers her face, smiling. But she's cold. You're cold. Can I help you in some way? I should have a word with the storm, storm owner, maybe. Such a good trooper you are. Already learning the value of hard work. Pat her head. I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. <laughs> uh, hmm. One or three. One or three. Uh, ito na lang muna. Three. Sige, go. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to help mom out with the store. She smiles and stands upright like a little soldier. She's what is your name? Shouldn't you be at school or something? What is this crime business? What is romance? Who are these famous people? Okay, bye. See you around, Annette. Uh, what is, uh, shouldn't you be at school or something? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mom keep this place running. Okay, homeschool? Is it going to school more important than this? School is stupid. You're lucky not to, not to, not to be there. What is school anyway? Uh, man, <laughs> stupid the tanong yan. Say so, number one. Mom says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mom says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. How's the business going? Mom says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second, and some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. Curse in what way? Good to hear that. It's going well. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. It's okay. Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... She's looking for the right word. At, at least, we, we, ano, bumili tayo ng isang item sa kanila. Bankrupt? Asa? Say, say nothing. Bankrupt? Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. I don't, I don't think curses are real. This sounds rather serious. I should probably look into this. Narrow your eyes and look through the creaking boards on the window. Sige. Tuloy-tuloy uh, na natin yung kalokohan natin. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. The lieutenant makes an, a note in the notebook. Yes. Please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games are there, sir. What do you know about the other failed businesses? How does this curse manifest itself? Hmm, hmm. Stroke your chin. Enough about the curse. For enough, enough of the curse for now. Uh, sabi niya na wag na eh, so sige to na lang. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Annette looks at you. Anna? Shaved, prickly chin. Uh, Annette looks at your shaved, prickly chin. It distinctly contracts with the oily mutton chops that surround it. Okay, bye. See you around, Annette. Hindi naman yan yung kailangan natin isolve, eh. Kinawa ko lang yung map dahil kailangan natin. Uh, Mabalik tayo dito. Kailangan natin yung susi eh. Hello again, sweetie. Pwede na kaya natin pakaalaman to. The worker is in a deep slumber. Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from. Into the primordial darkness. 
challenging teka uh, lieutenant who is this and then nang na nakausap eh so save natin try natin ayoko na auto save get out, get this out of here try natin the worker is in a deep slumber There is only nice. one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. <laughs> no words, just a primordial scream. Wake up, this is an order. I am the law. Take it Para interesting. Why the yelling man? The 30-something man slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look. You're alive. You look out for the... For the long count there, I just wanted to see what would happen if I yelled. I need you to answer some questions right now. Let's get, um... <laughs> the... Wait, what? No, he was just sleeping. What do you want, officer? He seems pissed off. Officer, even after a rude awakening, this dock worker respects the police. More than they usually do, at least. See anything interesting in your dreams? Tell me about wild, wild pines. Point to the writing on the overalls. What about the dead body in the yard? Yours. Point at the. Uh, yours. Point at the battle at the, battle and the spill, spill drum. All right. I let you sleep. Ah, so tomorrow. Tell me about. And then it's tomorrow. Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait. No. Oh, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. I already had some. It's fine rum. Looks you right out when you drew the bottle or two. He rubs his face, then burrs in his hands. You can hear a faint snore. See anything interesting in your dreams? Tell me about the tell me about wild pines. Point to the writing on his overalls. That's the name of my employer. I work in logistics. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. How's it going? That's wonderful. Ah, uh, what? How's it going? How's it going? <sighs> so, the dock worker lets out a big yawn, then stares at the cafeteria's terraces, terrace doors. Some fingerprints glisten on the glass. Haven't you noticed what's going on outside? Of course, it's a total madhouse. I'm not sure what you mean. I've almost never been outside of this building. Good. Then you understand the gist of it. We would all be better off without the employers and their employment. For one, I can get some god. Damn shut I right to sleep, I say. Parang feeling ko wala siyang alam dun eh. Pero sige, try natin. Yeah, what about it? You seem cool with it. Do you have many of those hanging from the trees here? I'm just trying to find out what you know about it? You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch, another one falls in a manhole, a third one gets eaten by stray dogs. He respects. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? Someone has to look into it. Looks like I'm that someone. Tell me what you know. A little point asking you about the body then. I got other questions. If you get lucky, I might even have answers for them. Okay. So anything interesting in your dreams? Thank God, no. Was it a fathomless darkness into which we ought to be deferred? Like corpses to a mausoleum? Was it pure nothing? Your con consciousness no larger than a single grain of mold? Tell me, was it a, a bliss-free 
tell me, was it a bl bliss free of X somethings? You're right. Let's talk about something something else. Uh, <laughs> ito na lang. The worker stares at you, his eyes dry from sleep. A web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. But when I'm out, then I'm really out. No malt grains or whatever. No poetry stuff. Just quality time. A little me time in the abyssal pelagic zone. You can never return to it now. Only detective work remains. Wakefulness and detection. Okay, see, to the canal. The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is already back down on the table. In Yeah, I think we can get some Can I help you? So about that money I owe, I need a drink. Can you pour me one? I've seen something here at the whirling, at the whirling. Guard, I think I need to talk about. By the way, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Uh, goodbye. I'll see you. Number three. What thing? I saw a sign that said, the mess hall is reserved for the union. Guard, I saw a sign that said, I shouldn't go into the kitchen. Why can't I go into the kitchen? There's something else. I uh hmm hmm. Say so, it Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in in disdain. They come here in the evenings, dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit, but they're good customers. They place big orders. And always pay on time. <laughs> he hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. So he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. It's a shame you've got you've got a sack up to the union to stay afloat. Let it go. You're above gratitude gratu gratuitous baiting. I don't. I'm simply providing a service, or really facilitating the offering of services to paying customers, and it doesn't matter. I don't have to explain myself to you. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. How do you find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, and they'll be here tomorrow. What's it? Pala. I saw Santa said the kitchen that I couldn't go into the kitchen. What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. <laughs> Maybe I am a cook. I have a search warrant. <laughs> but there may be something pertinent to the investigation in the kitchen. But I'm really hungry. What's He wasn't pan fried, he was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with. He changes his mind. Find out who is the union who's Find out who is in the union box. Garth has told you some unruly union men gathered in the mess hall of the whirling in rags. They're not there today, but most likely they'll eventually show up. Keep an eye out for them. Fine, okay. The kitchen is closed until 1 p.m. because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. Okay. Alauna, so two hours pa. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Absolutely out of the question. You wait and see, cafeteria manager. <laughs> Absolutely in the question. First, we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. <laughs> so about that, goodbye, guard.
Yeah. Save ko muna tapos subukan natin ulit yun sa taas. Subukan ko ulit yung mirror. Pag ayaw pa rin, okay lang. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face, adorned with the expression. Shadow, my baba, eh. It belongs in the new, the <laughs> third decade <laughs> of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life for our species okay things were good it was smooth sailing people made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times calling this the new style but more importantly disco happened <laughs> for revershaw your city that meant only one thing guillaume la million out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air boîte de nuit somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. So I adapted it? Why? I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. Yeah. How long ago was the new? Anything else? Like who I am? Why do I become a? Why did I become a cop? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? I guess that's it then. Uh, there is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression, looking good on you or anyone. Two decades, if the calendar is to be trusted, humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. Uh, anything else like who I am why did I become a cop why did I drink myself to obliv into oblivion you have some understanding of the near history of disco plus the trivia you've picked up along the way episodic memory however remains in the dark it may never return Crap. you should prepare yourself for that so I adapted it why everyone loved it Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. I feel I feel like, I feel the need to add a clicking sound to it when I make it. The click is used to spur on a horse. It <laughs> also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. Sometimes you like to add finger pistols to the mix. Because, unlike Guillaume Le Million, you are a police officer. It's your nifty little way to say, I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> okay. I guess that's it then. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Lonesome song way home. Kailangan ko para sa niya na teka. 
let the mirror let the mirror be for now teka so save ko muna nakuha yung isa eh so save tapos check natin ko ano yung function ng ano nakuha natin stat ba yun or something okay check natin to Paano mag-unlock? Paano siya i-unlock? Hindi ko alam kung paano pa. Okay, turn it next. Kumagat kung para saan yan. Uh, load na muna. Huwag na. Kunin natin yung isa. Tapos end na natin. Try natin yung isa pa. Tapos end na. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. Very low. With the, it's too late. Like an image on film. Isa pa. Kunin, try natin try natin ng ilang beses. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's too late. Like Tatlong, three times pa. Three times pa. Pag in five in five attempts wala pa talaga wag na wag na. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's too late. Like Okay, dalawa na lang. Isa na kuha natin ito problema eh. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's too late. Okay, isa na lang. Isa na lang. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it. Your face, it's too late. Oh, nah, never mind. Load. Balikan na lang natin next time. Pag kami pagkakataon net. Baba muna tayo ulit. Kailangan alauna daw tayo babalik. May nakita ako dito. Check lang natin. Tapos end na natin for now. A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. The street signs reads Fuck the police. Pigs go home. The street name is ill illegible. Uh, end na natin. <laughs> May chupa sa waya. Isa pa. OCD kasi. Oh, 
Gawa na naman auto save. Uh, I-delete yung auto save. Tapos enter natin. Okay. Okay, so. Kaya siya ang sa signing off guys. Tuloy na lang ulit natin ito next episode.